Figure it out! Hello, this is Adam Corley with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our Quick Shoot series and is intended to aid the Dreamcast and gaming community. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, two Dreamcast dev kits. You see that? Look, there's one there. And look, there's another one over here. And you can see just by looking at it on the front, there's a little bit of a variant. This one says Dreamcast and has the logo. This one has Katana and doesn't have the logo, but then it has some writing. It says DevBox HKT01. This also says that, but it says it down there. I'm sure the first thing that's coming to your mind is, uh, Adam, what the hell do you have two Sega Dreamcast dev kits for? Well, let me explain. First, I actually bought this one a while ago, and I did a video on it. In fact, if you want to see a video on what a dev kit is, get some more basic information and see this one in greater detail and get a look at its box, I would check out the video on this specifically, which I'll put uh, here somewhere. But this is more of a comparison video slash story about this one. Um, so first, let me, I mean, I showed you the front already. I'll show you the backs that are, are actually different in a moment. But first, let me tell you a story on how I got this thing. Uh, okay, so I'm out on the internet and I'm buying something, which I haven't done a video of, but I will. And... After I buy it, the guy who is a Japanese seller says, Hey, you know, thanks for buying this thing. Uh, I've got this other thing. Are you interested? And I was like, Well, what is it? And he sends me a, he said he didn't know what it was. He had no idea. He's just like, He sent me a picture of this. He just sent me a photograph of that. And he's like, Yeah, this thing. I don't know what this is, but if you want it, uh, you know, I'd like to, I'd be interested in getting it to you. And I said, Well, okay, great. Uh, you know, how much for it? And he's like, Well, I got to be honest with you, it doesn't work. Uh, I plugged it in, it doesn't seem to do anything. And I was like, well, okay, that's kind of a bummer. And he said, yeah, well, all right, tell you what, if you'll pay the shipping on it, it's yours. Yeah, yeah, if you pay the shipping on it, it's yours. So that was how I got this. Now you're thinking, well, Adam, it doesn't work, who cares? And I'm like, no, it, you know, it, it actually, uh, well, so I, I get it back here, and I turn it on, and sure enough, he was right, it didn't work, it just had a black screen. And I said, okay, well, what do I do about this? Um, so I went on the internet, and I found a forum called Assembler Forums, which is a great forum. You guys should go check that forum out. Um, and I posted, I'm like, hey, I got this black screen thing happening, what do I do? And they said, well, okay, well, one guy, specifically, Alt R N 8 that's his username, uh, said, okay, well, you know, dude, I think I can help you with this. And he said, you have to, basically what you have to do is you have to flash the thing. And he's not talking about showing it my junk. Uh, <laughs> terrible joke. Uh, but he's talking about uh, connecting it to my computer and upgrading the software inside. And I said, oh, that, okay, well, how would I go about doing that? He's like, well, you're going to need this cable and you're going to need this card for your computer. And I was like, dude, uh, you know, this thing, guys, does not use like USB or anything, okay? This is, this is some specific stuff. And he, it's called SCSI is the technology. It's like late 90s technology. And he was like, well... You know what? Screw it. I've got extra cables and a card. I'll just send it to you. And uh, sure enough, to his word, he sent me the cable and he sent me the card. Now, I can't show you the card because it's in my PC, but um, yeah, I mean, this is the kind of ports we're talking about. Yeah. So he sends me this thing, and another user named, uh, well, Raymond, I actually did a video about him. He sent me a, a box of Dreamcast stuff, actually. See that video here somewhere? Uh, he actually said, okay, well, here's the software you need, and, uh, you know, I'll help you through it. And he made a video tutorial on how to basically upgrade this, and I did it, and, uh, thing works, guys. This thing is fully functional now. Uh, so I have two working dev kits, and, uh, this one I did pay for. This one I only paid for shipping on, which really wasn't that bad. And, uh, before anybody asks, yes, this one does have a hard drive. This one does not have a hard drive. But I have checked, guys. There are no games on this thing. There is... Nothing on there. It's completely blank. Um, for people who don't know, often lost Dreamcast games come from dev kits where people just, you know, from companies that were making a game that just never wiped out the hard drive. Um, so it's always like, oh, oh, you found a dev kit. Does, that, does the hard drive have a game on it? Is it a lost game? Oh my god! Does not have a game on it. Sorry. But uh, the hard drive is nice because if you want to, and I stress want to, you can rip games to it and you can play games straight off the hard drive. Now the only reason you wouldn't want to do that is ripping a game is kind of a bitch and the process of converting it and all that is really not fun. It's time consuming. And then loading it on here, it really doesn't save you all that much time in the end, especially since this thing can only handle a 4 gig hard drive. If Shenmue worked on this thing, which is another big problem with these things, then I would do it just for that one game, because it would be awesome to have reduced Shen, uh, load times in Shenmue, but that's not the case. So, 
that's the uh, story on how I got this thing, and I'm sure some people out there are kind of jealous that I have two dev kits and one was essentially free, and they happen to be both different versions. But I also thought people might like to just see that. Uh, now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I will show you the back of these things, which are actually different. Take this cable, get this out of here. Um, yep. Sorry about the dead air there. Kind of, these things are heavy. Okay. So, here's the back. Uh, these are SCSI Terminators. If you watch my first video, you, have, you realize I have no idea what these are. And now that you're watching this video, you realize I only slightly know what these things are. They, um, they go on here, and then they, they're used for programming to help, uh, help the computer determine which port it should be responding to, I guess. I still really don't know what they do that much, but now I have a better understanding. I do know that they were needed when I had to flash this thing, which is kind of nice that I had them. But anyway, um, so on the back here... They both have VGA ports, they both have MIDI ports, they both have S-Video, they both have AV video, they both have uh, this port, SCSIB. This one has a GD Writer port, and it has the actual like hardware inside that can understand it. This one does not. This actually has, it has the space for it, but there's nothing there. I'm not really sure why that is. But you'll also notice this one has two other ports. Uh, for uh, SCSIA and extension IO, whereas this is just a sheet of metal. Uh, and this has two ports here. This has the same two ports except the C12, which is visible here. It's just a hole in this one. This is a phone jack thing. Presumably they both could have connected to the internet. Power supply down there. Yeah, there's your Dreamcast dev kit. Uh, if anybody actually knows why these are different, let me know. I know that uh, obviously this one came from Japan. I actually, and this one came from Japan as well, so I really don't know what's up with that. I think this is an earlier model. I don't know. Um, but yeah, why the hell do I have two of these? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you so desire. However, we'd really appreciate it if you'd check out our other videos that are of a higher production caliber. Thank you.